Okay, I'm going to try to make this quick as possible. Set a password for the hard drive. Know the password, but want to remove this option from showing up. So, um, this has become quite difficult. I'm going to try to move on um, as fast as possible. A user did this. I didn't know it. He handed me the laptop, wanted me to fix it. Buddy of mine. So, I'm going to go ahead and enter the password, which I know. 1314. Then I'm immediately going to the BIOS by repeatedly hitting the escape key here. This is for Asus. Uh, didn't catch it. Sometimes it, it won't catch, so you do have to. So I'm going to power it off. Power it on. Hopefully, I can just keep tapping that escape key. Escape. And I should come up to my option. Should come up to my option here. Just keep tapping the escape key. There we go. So I'm enter setup. And I'm gonna go up here to security. And as you see, there's no password set for administrator, there's no set password set for user password, and it says non install for HD, but it is, and it's grayed out, so I can't go and change it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go ahead and enter an administrator password. Okay. I'm going to enter a user password. And then I'm going to go ahead and save changes and exit. And then I'm going to go right back into it. And you see it's want the password to get into the BIOS. I'm going to enter the password again. I'm going to keep tapping the escape key. Because I want to get back into this menu, enter setup, and we'll go right back again to security. So now, with security being, uh, excuse me, now I'm having a password installed. You see that option blued on me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and change this because, as you see, it says installed for master password. And I've never set a password. So I'm going to go ahead and change both of these. I'm going to start with the this one here. Enter current password. Huh? What do you mean it's not? Let me try this. Let me set the user password. Okay. And I'm gonna leave it blank. Confirm new password is blank. That's set for user. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for master password. Confirm blank. So now they're both blank. So they're both grayed out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, let me make sure. Create new password. Nope. Confirm. Not install. And that's what I want. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, remove this password because I don't need this anymore. And when it's asking me to put the new one, I just simply hit enter. That's all I want. So I'm gonna do the same thing for user password. Just hit enter. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So <coughs> now it's set to the way I like. So I'm just going to go ahead and save and exit. And I shouldn't get a prompt for our password. So to recap, all you need to do is go ahead and re enable the administrator and the user password then go down and um, it'll give you access to the hard drive password even if it's it's grayed out and as you see 
how to get an option to enter the hard drive password. And this was stopping me from doing a lot of things such as booting into Windows, loading up, um, accessing a C drive. I couldn't access the C drive to reload Windows. I couldn't uh, repair Windows just because that hard drive was locked and there was no way to um, unlock it once I was in, in, in them particular settings. So hope that helped you guys. Uh, Try to make it as quick as possible. And um, as always, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.